Hey everybody, it's Lindsay. I just got my birch box yesterday and I've already gotten to try a bunch of the things in it. I mean, not a bunch of the things, there's only five things in it, but <laughs> I already tried several of the things that came with my birch box. Um, so it's kind of fun. This time I get to give you a little mini reviews on some of the things that I've tried and also show you just, you know, what I got. So this month, September, marks the one year anniversary of Birchbox, which when I signed up several months ago, I didn't realize that it was that young of a company. So that is pretty cool. So I think a lot of us were kind of expecting, you know, a pretty cool, impressive box, which I feel like this is, um, not all of the stuff I'm like crazy about, but I think that's just because I've had a chance to actually try some of them this time, where other times I've been really excited, but I hadn't actually tried them, so I don't know, if, you know, if it's good or not. But I'll just get right into it. The first one is Color Science Pro Sun Forgettable Min Mineral Powder SPF 30 in Medium. And this is how it looks. It says, who has time for a multi-stepped multi-step AM routine. A mineral sunscreen that evens and mattifies skin means more time for coffee. Plus it lasts all day. So this is pretty cool. This is a mineral powder foundation and this is a pretty decent amount. Um, what did I get? Um, one and a half grams and 0 0.05 ounces. And for 0 0.21 ounces, um, it costs anywhere from between $28 and $50. So, you know, not a cheap product by any means. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with mineral foundation, so I really don't have much to compare it to. I'm wearing it today. I think it's a little bit, just a tad light for my skin tone, which, um, you know, give me a couple months of not being in the sun at all, you know, come fall and winter, you know, this will probably match perfectly. Um, but you know, to be fair, because I don't have much to compare it to, I can't tell you whether this is good or bad. I do know that I am a liquid foundation girl. I love the coverage it gives and the build, the buildable, buildability, is that a word? You're able to build the coverage with liquid foundation. And I guess you can do that too with mineral foundation. Um, I feel like it didn't really get rid of the redness around you know, my nose here and didn't cover my dark circles as much as I'd like. And my skin is pretty clear now, so I thought it was a good day to try this because um, it's not like I had blemishes or anything like that to cover. But I like this, um, I'll keep trying it and wearing it, especially for days where I'm just kind of around the house and things like that. Um, but I don't know that I'd pay full price for this or buy it again just because, I don't know, I really like liquid foundation. But I know there are lots of mineral foundation lovers who swear by it, so that is that. All right, the next one is in Coco Nail Polish Applique. We all have a wild side. Nail strips are the latest trend. Try them on your fingers or toes. And um, these I am probably the most excited about out of this box. This is what it looks like, um, and this is the design I got. And I haven't had a chance to watch anybody else's Birch Box videos, so I don't know if there's different designs. I imagine there would be. Um, these are so cool. They're like zebra tiger stripes with teal and blue and black, and it's glittery. So, I mean, that is so cool, and I've been wanting to try these. I Mm, excuse me. I picked up the strips by Sally Hansen weeks ago and just haven't gotten around to using them. I know people raved about those and I'm so late on getting on the bandwagon on that one, but these are supposed to, you know, last up to two weeks, you know, stay great, um, no chipping or anything like that. So I'm so excited for, to try these and these are super funky. Um, I might even try these on my toenails just because they're big enough. I mean, these are definitely big enough to do that. So, cause these are really funky. I mean, not that I wouldn't wear these on my nails, but I think they'd last longer and maybe look a little cuter on my toenails. So we'll see what I decide to do. Um, it gives the directions on here how to do these. And I just quickly looked up a couple reviews on YouTube for these. And apparently these are super popular. A lot of people really had good experiences with uh, the Incoco nail polish appliques. Ugh. So really excited to try this one. That's probably my favorite thing out of this box. Um, the next one, if I can find it here, all right, the Jouer Lip Enhancer. Why settle for a plain old lip balm when you can hydrate, plump, and condition all in one? Uh, so we thought, all right, so this um, is, full size is 0.33 fluid ounces, and that is $14. Um, so not a cheap lip balm. I have been using this several times. I'm such a lip balm junkie. I mean, I always have to have 
a lip balm with me. Like, you know, those games you play where if you were stranded on a desert island, what 10 things would you take? Number one for me, always lip balm. Like, so weird, I know, but I need lip balm on my lips. Um, and this one is really nice. It is um, like a liquid. It's, you know, obviously in this little applicator, it's not gonna be a solid, but it kind of reminds me of my Aquaphor, but it smells a little nicer. It's just a very light scent. Um, just really nice and it's got this it's in the cutest little container so I really really like this probably not something I'd repurchase just because it is kind of pricey and um, it seems like it would do the same thing as my aquaphor lip uh, treatment but really excited about this one using this one I know I'll totally use this up because I use lip balm constantly all right so the next one um, I'm a little bit on the fence about this is Jerlique rose hand cream and it came in a cute little box like this um, this size is, this is a half, ooh, sorry about that, dropping stuff. This is a half an ounce. Um, this stuff is expensive. Um, 1.4 ounces of this is $25, 4.3 ounces, $49. So that is like crazy expensive to me for a hand cream. Um, this is the description. We are not afraid to get our hands dirty, which is why we need serious repairing products. This longtime favorite softens rough skin and leaves behind a lovely scent. So this definitely has a very rosy scent, which I don't always mind rose. Um, if it's really light or maybe mixed with another scent, I don't mind it. This really smells like rose to me, and to me it just kind of reminds me of like a grandma scent, which I don't want to like offend anybody if you love rose. It's just not my scent. Um, yeah, whew, that smells so strong of rose. Uh, but the hand cream, it feels wonderful. I mean, it has a wonderful texture, um, velvety, but leaves behind, um, you know, moist, definitely moisturizes the skin. So it feels wonderful. So this is, this will be something I'll use at home, maybe before bed and things like that. Like, ugh, it feels wonderful on my hands, but I just can't, I don't want to put this on in public and then smell like my grandma. So I will leave the leave this one at home but it is really nice but it's crazy expensive i mean 50 bucks for a hand cream get out of here so all right the last um thing i guess beauty related thing in my birch box is uh salvatore for ferragamo um oh my gosh how do i atimo lo floral I, i'm guessing that's how you say the scent of this perfume uh, 3.4 ounces is $85, and the designer's latest scent taps into our sophisticated side with delicate peony and jasmine. Okay, I love this perfume. I wore this today. It smells so good. It has that jasmine in it, so it's a little bit um, musky, a little bit spicy, but not overly so. I'm more of like a sweet perfume fan, um, and this is somewhere in the middle. So it's got a little bit of that nice floral, but not overpowering with the jasmine. It's just wonderful. I, I really like this. Um, yeah, and I love that it's in a spray, not just like a dump out, because I love to be able to spray perfume. So this one is great. Um, that's what the container looks like, and it came in this little, this little spray. So yeah, I will definitely be using that one. Love that one. And then the Birchbox Extra this month is not beauty related. It is a friendship bracelet. And this is what it looks like. It um, oh, got a little sticker on there or something. Um, it's a pink rope with the, a little silver square. So it's pretty cute. I don't know if I'll actually uh, wear it, but it is, I mean, it is really cute, I think. So it says, it's been a year and we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Wear this friendship bracelet as a reminder that there's beauty and discovery and delight in anticipation. Here's to many more beauty-filled months. I agree. Here's to many more beauty-filled months. Um, yeah, so this is really cute. Um, I really like this month's Birch Box. Um, I like that I got to try some of the things before making this video um, and kind of give you a little bit of my opinion of what I think. Uh, I'm really loving Birch Box. I'm having so much fun with this. I mean, it's 10 bucks a month. You get the points then that you can use to buy products in the Birch Box store that you've tried. Um, the products from this month, from the current month, ship for free. I mean, I just think it's like such a fun way to try new products like zero commitment i mean 10 bucks a month if you hate it whatever uh you can know that you like it or not and it wasn't that big of a deal and i love that they're sample sizes because for me i love trying new products so i don't necessarily want a huge product of something that even if i love it i'm probably not going to use it all up unless it's like holy grail for me um because i'm on to the next thing i want to try the next thing so 
this is just such a fun way for me to try something. If I like it, awesome. If I don't, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so that's what I think. Let me know what you got in your birch box this month. I'm curious to see what other people got and you know if they did all kind of the same thing or if people got different things. Um, yeah, so just let me know. Let me know if you plan on signing up, whatever you think. Um, not affiliated with Birchbox in any way. I just really love it and think it's a fun way to try new products. So I will talk to you soon. See you, everybody.